Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Cancers, I'm here to do your little nightly check-in. Yay. Uh, this reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with you, okay? Just take what does resonate. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is starting to <clears throat> get kind of tight. I feel like there's somebody who wants to talk to you. Um, just take what does resonate Cancer and toss out the rest, right? And thank you, Cancer, so, so much. You guys are my soul tribe, my peeps. I love you so much. Thank you for everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Um, all right, so Cancers, listen, the first thing I, I'm pulling off of the memes deck, right? What I'm seeing here is a karmic individual who's really, really upset, like angry, like um, wanting to fight. I feel like they're fighting with the masculine, dueling it out here, right? Um, these two are fighting, this masculine and this karmic, because I, I feel like, see, if you look really close, it looks like the same person. It's just that it's like one minute they're happy and jolly and everything is, yay, great, yee, ha, ha, ha. And the next minute they're enraged, okay, and lashing out. And I feel like there's some kind of evidence here that that is exposing this karmic for how fake they are. OK, um, and it's it's causing these two to fight. This is, again, the karmic situation. Um, and I'll probably bring out the flash with this one. And you're like all kinds of Zen. You're like, I'm not a part of this. Um, right. You're living a peaceful life. This is all stuff that's going on behind the scenes with your person that karmic situation all they're doing is fighting this karmic is getting more and more out of control and it's like one minute they're acting like a clown okay and they're all happy and the next minute they're just there's no middle ground with this person it almost feels like um, a, a mental imbalance there's something not right and it's causing these two to fight. And something, yeah, I want to know what this is. You're just at peace. You're living a peaceful life here. Just totally zen, right? Meditating, doing lots of meditating. Um, very spiritual person, Cancer. Uh, but this karmic situation is nutty. Um, what can you show me about the camera? What's being exposed? Something's being exposed here. What's being exposed? Ooh, with this karmic. Oh, that wanted to flip out. Um, I feel like this masculine wants to come forward. Try to apologize. I feel like this karmic, they, they, they may try on a daily to be all kinds of nice and sweetie sweet, but they just get enraged here. I mean, there's just, they're just going off. I feel like this karmic is watching this masculine wanting to come towards you. Or maybe they've even met someone else. And there's, or there could be evidence of the karmic meeting someone else. Yeah, I need to shift that. They're very sneaky here. I feel like um, somebody's being really sneaky. I feel like somebody else, this karmic has somebody else. And I feel like they've been spotted. They've been seen. Somebody knows. There's evidence here. There's some kind of evidence. The only energy I have for you out here is this spirituality zen kind of card that's your energy cancer just living a, just living in peace but their life is going nutty i feel like there could have been two people that witnessed somebody else with this karmic they could have even gotten pictures of it this is just something that's being exposed maybe on a phone they there's some kind of information i feel like a family members family members have exposed this person there's some kind of info on the phone oh boy and i feel like this is this is you and this masculine
What is this about? Somebody, maybe the masculine has been exposed. I'm just feeling like this karmic is just lashing out. They're just, they're just going nutty at this point. I think they're losing it. Yeah, I feel like you're on a glow up. This, ah. Uh, I feel like this masculine has been watching you, watching you work, go uh, having a glow up here. And now they're wanting to come towards you. That could have been exposed. There was something in somebody's phone. Somebody took a picture or something. Someone's getting exposed here, whether it's your person watching you or this karmic having someone new. But other people are seeing it too. And this karmic is just, yeah, it's like a it's like a car wreck. Everything's getting exposed to what, what was inside this car. Okay, what was behind closed doors. I feel like maybe they tried to look perfect to everybody, but there's other people now seeing this karmic going nutty. Fighting with this masculine. I feel like this masculine, you know, they, they feel like they're more, more suitable. Like you're more suitable for them. You could be out here a professional, working really hard, being very calm and peaceful. You're everything that this karmic is not. You're spiritual. You're, you're living a life of peace, working really hard, having a glow up here, coming up in the world. You're, and what's inside their car, what's inside their home, right, is, is, a, is a wreck. And now this door is open. Everything is being exposed of what's going on behind the scenes in their, in their family unit. Somebody found some kind of information on the phone. Yeah, see, look. You're out here having a glow up. And I feel like this masculine can't stop thinking about you. All right, so let's get the flash on it, guys. I'm feeling the flash tonight. <laughs> let's see what's going on behind the scenes here with this situation, because this karmic is going off the deep end. I'm telling you, they're losing it. And people are seeing it now because they just they can't keep up the fakeness anymore. This All of this is getting to them. And that what's going on inside their home or behind this door, it's all getting exposed here with other people looking at this like, okay, that's a little wacky. That's a little over the top. You see what I'm saying? And you're out here winning. Okay, so... I feel like, you know, usually this is my card for something not being sufficient, but I kind of feel like they're in too close quarters. That's really what I'm feeling like here. This karmic and this masculine, they may be living in a very small space or something, and I feel like um, it's driving them both kind of nutty. Yeah. I feel like this is a summertime, something could go down. Your person's going to be walking away from the situation in the summer, I feel. Something about summertime and walking away from this um, soulmate connection, whatever this is, this connection here, his and hers thing, that in the summertime it's done. And I feel like they're going to come straight to you. The ice cream cone, the sweet one, that would be you. I feel like this person is going to be making a choice between something that's toxic and something that's divine. And I feel like that's you. You could be a divine feminine here. Yeah, look at all the snakes around this person. Look at all the snakes around this person that they're trying to keep covered up, see? They're trying to keep this stuff a secret, how they live, what goes on behind the scenes here with this person. And it's toxic. 
And I feel like all of this is going to be exposed. The, the rug's going to be lifted up. The snakes are going to slither out. And somebody's going to be feeling really sad and very depressed that they're going to be alone. I feel like this is that karmic individual, this feminine energy. Sad and depressed and alone by summertime. This is for someone. I feel like there's a masculine energy walking that wants to walk away from this. They're done with the sneaky, sneaky people that attack, fly off the handle, freak out. And it's going to leave this karmic. I feel like this karmic is afraid to be alone, too, you know. It may put them into a depressive state, but also that's because of the mental issues that they're suffering. I feel like this karmic has some big mental issues here. It's just a lot of toxicity. All right, what else can you show me? And honestly, this masculine all, look, look, they've got medals on. You've got medals on. They see you as their match. And you're just out here working, elevating in your life, okay? Yeah, this person can get downright abusive. And it, it's making your person scared. It's made them scared. But I feel like by summertime, by summertime, this person, this masculine is going to walk away from this karmic because of the fighting, because of the anger because of the flipping out because of the abusive it could be verbal abuse mental abuse it could even get physical you know yeah it's very unpredictable this is the the this is the scary um table in the high school cafeteria right where all of the unpredictable fighting goes on all the bullying um i feel like this you don't want to hang out there any you know you don't want to go near that table i feel like this person doesn't want to be there anymore and it's just been an unpredictable time of bullying from this karmic who's just flipping out it's just been a, a bunch of bullying i feel and anger and rage and I feel like they they kind of rule with fear you know what I mean they yeah they need to learn a lesson this karmic needs to learn a lesson and your person is angry this masculine is angry I feel like they're learning a lesson. They're seeing this person for who they really are. And I feel like there's a secret that's been exposed here. And I feel like it's a karmic who um, has maybe been talking to somebody else. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. And it's, look, there, there's, not, there's something not right with this person. This is a segmented personality, right? One minute they're fine and proper, and the next minute they're like, blah! That's that unpredictability. Okay? And I feel like your person's so angry about this, they may be even sleeping on a couch somewhere else, uh, trying to clear out this, this, this energy here. Um, not putting forth a lot of effort into this anymore. They're walking away, yeah. I just saw them turn their back. This this is over by summer. Look, there it is. Um, dealing with the fake individual, yeah, who's a rat. Um, or a rat. I feel like somebody is ratting out this karmic. I feel like they got some... Something is being made very clear. Um, something is being exposed that has to do with this karmic here, and your person's going to be walking away. I feel like in the summertime. What else can you show me here for cancer? Yeah, they've been, this is, this is what they've been loyal to. It is an abusive, I feel like it's abusive, I feel like there's a bully here that's toxic. They've been living in fear.
What else can you show me for Cancer? Yeah, your person's, to, they've been loyal to this for too long. I feel like they're turning their back on this. They're just too upset. Everything's coming out in the open about either something that this karmic did or just their personality alone. I mean, it's just, it's something I feel like they know that it's not going to heal. You know what I'm saying? And it's just become too burdensome for your person. It's just burdens. So, yeah, they're on the bottom of the deck. They're taking a new route. Summertime. Summertime, this person's going to be leaving. Whoever it is that I'm reading for here, right? They're taking a new, they're going down that new portal. Yep, yeah, they're going to be walking. All right, what else can you show me here for cancer? What else can you show me for cancer? Okay, what can you show me for cancer, please? Could be dealing with the fire sign. Justice in reverse. They're just not, they're, nothing is balanced in this situation. This, yeah, nothing's balanced. I feel like this person wants to take action and go elsewhere. This, this is forward movement. Um, they may try talking to you here, but I'm not really seeing that. I'm seeing them wanting to get out of the situation first, okay? So for this person that I'm reading for here, they are watching you. They know that you're more suitable for them, right? But they need to clear this out first, so it may not, for this particular person, I don't see that going down until summertime. But this is coming to an end. It's the end of a cycle here. They're in a lot of pain, too, maybe, over all of this, because they're feeling a rare, like they're not getting their justice, right? Um, but they're taking action. They're mad. And um, I feel like this is going to be done in the summertime. Yeah, they're going to take a new leap of faith here. They're going to start a new journey. It may even, yeah, they're, I feel like they're going to be coming towards you. Once all of this is over, they're coming towards you. This person got all tripped up. Um, possibly even doing something like player energy or they were a schmoozer maybe. I don't know. They've been in a decision that they've had to make. And now I feel like they're waiting for the right time or waiting to, until all of this is over, to be honest with you. And then they're coming back in. They're going to be coming towards you, Cancer, um, to build something solid. That's this person. So just be aware of that. Um, but they're, it's going to take a while, I feel. Could take up to three months here. So that would bring us to July. Or June. June or July. It's summertime, yeah. Summertime, I feel like you guys will reunite. Um, yeah, and the light's going to be shed on everything here. I'm telling you. I feel summertime. Or Leo season. Could be in Leo season. What is that, July, August? Give me one more for Cancer. Yeah, high priestess energy. This person wants to come towards you. I think you can sense all of this going on in the background, and you're just being um, silent. I, I don't think you're you're just you're just being very quiet. Okay, um, just keep following what the divine. Keep being divinely led. Okay, keep moving forward. Um, you know, I'm feeling like um, you've got a passionate new beginning coming here for you. You may not see it coming here, but it is. 
It is, and possibly Leo season. I'm seeing Leo season here. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing for this person that I'm reading for. Anyway, Cancers, listen, that's what I've got for this one tonight. Um, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. If you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow. And until next time, Cancers, I love you. <laughs> Take care of you, my darlings, and peace out.